know most people have this perspective of Kenya that Kenya will spoil kids. And most people told me that, like, oh, you're going to Kenya, ha, be careful, you'll get spoiled. But this. welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Anna Akajo it is so good to have you here like I'm so so blessed that you're here trust me um, if it's your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video if it's not your first time thank you so much for returning it truly really means a lot to me I value each and every one of your this video as you have already seen in the title we are going to be looking at what I wish I knew where before I came to study abroad because as most of you or maybe if you do not know this I am a Ugandan but I studied in Kenya I do not know <laughs> if Kenya is considered <laughs> abroad <laughs> but still it is a different place from where I grew up so the culture is a bit different although it's Africans we are a bit similar more similar than different but still some things are different so I think in this case it does qualify as a bird guys <laughs> it does in a way let's 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 just let's just go with that okay let's go with that now now my perspective is a little bit different from like if you if you go and search on YouTube about studying abroad you'll find that other people's perspectives are um, let's say maybe they are in it right now like at the moment they're studying abroad or it was just a small maybe it was a year ago months ago but for me it is years ago it is like my perspective is like the hindsight perspective like if you're to ask someone about I feel like for 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 some advice to be authentic like properly thought about and um relevant it needs to be i feel like hindsight perspective is always the best it's always good to get different perspectives but if you look at someone looking back at their experiences and be like you know what this is what i wish i knew this is what i wish i did not know this is what i wish i did not do I feel like it's better so this is my hindsight like what what I wish I knew like looking back in hindsight I'm like yo I wish I, I wish I knew this now the first thing that I that I wish I knew or wish I did I wish I knew the value of saying yes now I don't know if we have all if some of you have watched the movie yes man it's a really really nice movie okay i watched it a really long time ago but when i when i was talking about this like the movie yes man popped up popped out in my mind like this guy just had to was challenged to say yes to everything and i wish i took that seriously i wish i said yes to most things now this is saying yes is like in 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 the in the in the perspective of being open to different things now in my first year i wasn't that open like i was so closed off i was only hanging out with like people that i knew people that i even like if you know me i'm an introvert like i am very very comfortable on my own so having to get out of my comfort zone was also a hard thing that i'm glad for my certain friends that i had hi lizzie certain friends that i had who I had who will just encourage me to get out of my box so like I started I started to do that in around my second year when I, I would just say you know what let me say yes the, the, in my university there were so many opportunities so many opportunities to travel and be go around no, Nairobi, Nairobi. Kenya. Kenya is huge Kenya is beautiful so there were so many travel opportunities and I took I took like in my second year I was like on every <laughs> travel opportunity that the university was doing for residents and non-residents and people who are not from Kenya and even even Kenyans could join but most of them didn't and you know some most of these things you will not find nationals joining it's just most of us who are from out like we want to experience this 
so i wish i said yes there are some things that i'm like oh i wish i went for that i wish i went for this bungee jumping thing this this white water thrifting i don't know what is rafting <laughs> thrifting white water rafting like there's some things that i look back i'm like i wish i did this and there's some things that i look back i'm like i'm so happy i went to i went to with that experience that i went with that opportunity i took that opportunity like for example one of the most unforgettable times for me was my trip to Malindi. it was so beautiful like i had been to the coast before and uh, at that point you'd say ah, i've been to the coast before why should i go again but you know the opportunities come just in different ways like you can never fully know something like the coast is such a beautiful place like i went to the coast as a child now i was coming to the coast in my 20s it's like so different y'all so always like i i learned to be open to opportunities like especially if it's like right there in front of you take it take it so studying abroad like i wish i knew this i wish i knew this so if if you want to go and study abroad be open like if i'm given a chance to study abroad ever again like one thing that i will do is be open to like the different opportunities that come my way and another thing that you have to know is the one of the advantages of studying abroad is you get to get to know you have a chance to get to know yourself in a, a situation that is unfamiliar you know we behave very differently from like if you're in a very comfortable situation and you're, if you're in a very familiar situation our behavior is a bit different but if you are put in another situation where which you are not accustomed to at all your behavior will definitely change and it's really important to note the changes in your behavior and try to 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 to, to examine each of them and be like ask yourself questions why did i do this why did i respond this way why did i get angry why didn't i get angry why did, did i why didn't i say no to that why didn't i say yes to that like it helps you get to know yourself like in different situations let's say like you 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 you're in a most people have this issue with studying abroad they always talk about loneliness and missing their families so it, it gives you a chance to examine how you're going to behave in a situation where you are not with you're not in a familiar environment you're not with people who, who you have been with all your life how are you going to behave are you going to change my advice would be do not change stay the way you are be yourself in all situations but all the same you need to have to create room to grow like have room to grow have room to improve yourself have moments of self-reflection where you're like yo i should not have done this i should not have done this i will do better next time I will do this next time and you find yourself growing because when you're in in a place that you are not used to the chances of you growing are really really way higher than in an environment that you're used to because in in, a, in an unfamiliar with the unfamiliar you find growth with the unfamiliar you find improvement like you you be exposed to having to get creative with with different things becoming more accommodative like if you are if you are an introvert like me and you are just more comfortable on your own <laughs> the the truth of the matter is in life we need people the truth of the matter is to succeed in life you need to have connections you need to have different connections with different people and what better way to do that than getting out of your comfort zone and just getting out there and talking to people and that is not a trait of introverts but if you are if you if you are going to study abroad like what i want you to know is or if you're planning to study abroad what i want you to know and and you're an introvert please start getting out of your comfort zone normalize getting out of your comfort zone because it is really going to help you i wish i knew this like me i got to know these things later like <laughs> when i wasted a lot of time <laughs> but yeah like it's not too late for you if you're beginning this journey this is your chance to get get hit the ball rolling from the beginning from the beginning do not waste any time get to know people make connections because you just never know when these connections will come in handy for you in life now these are some of the things that i learned like 
at the, the beginning of the video we looked at what I wish I knew now these are some of the things that I learned and some okay not necessary lessons but things that I found myself emulating and uh, when I look back I'm like <laughs> it's definitely because I spent time in Kenya it's definitely because I spent time outside home now things like even even like finance budgeting your own things like you know you you are sent money like uh, not not really frequently and you don't have access to home like you know if if you're in your home country or you in your city you can always go home and just say i'm have i'm spending the weekend at home but now in this case you do not have anywhere to go that you say that i'm going to spend the weekend here i'm going to i'm going to like at least save money like by eating someone else's food no, like in this case, you're actually exposed to a situation where you have to plan your things, plan your money, plan everything from, from what you're going to eat, from how much you're going to eat, from like if you're going to go and eat out, like what are you going to eat when you go out? And you have to know the consequences of doing that. Like if I eat out today, I cannot eat out tomorrow. I have to cook tomorrow because the money is dwindling. So it, it really helped me in my finances. Like I, I became a planner. Now, naturally, I am a planner, like I like to plan things out and you know, but this actually grew, grew my planning skills Like I, I got really good at planning and this, this got, this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This over, <laughs> it trickled over into later when I had, to, when I opened up a business, when I started a business, like all that independent thinking i think the top that the, the, the word here is independent thinking you you learn how to be very independent in your thoughts very thoughtful of the consequences because you know that if i join that group of people this is what will happen if if i if i go if i stay out late this is what will happen like there are not many rules that are really confining you in one place so you might think that oh i'm free to do this i'm free to do this but you you are more I don't know you um the the consequences of being alone are, are, are even more real so it teaches you to be more mature in the decisions that you make and it teaches you I, I learned how to weigh my options be like ah no I have a nine o'clock class today let me not go out to eat on a Wednesday in Westlands but if I had a penny for how many times I did that I, yeah I did that a lot which I don't regret, but <laughs> not good experiences because I'm a foodie and that food is involved. We, sh we shall go, we shall go. But you know, by the time you do that, you have come to terms with the fact that you have a nine o'clock class and you're going to have to be up for your class when you need to. And it's, uh, it's, um, I ended up also learning the value of, of being observant. Um, in Kenya it wasn't that bad because I was mostly around Ugandans and would speak English but you know sometimes sometimes there are situations where like you you'd be around people who only speak Swahili around people who only speak Swahili and you you haven't learned Swahili <laughs> I took time to learn Swahili and I'm not saying I fully learned it now but like it just taught me to observe like observe the other cues of communication because speaking is not the only way of communicating like there are even other cues like body language like i learned to observe body language and sometimes even if someone is speaking a different language i can tell what they're talking about and then i will i will reply and then they'll be like yo you speak the language <laughs> i don't speak it i just i just learned to have different to take advantage of different communication cues and that is something that i learned when i was in kenya when i studied in kenya when i spent all this time in kenya like not knowing the language forced me to become more creative in okay i do not know i don't know swahili very well but i'm going to hustle i'm going to finesse i know and it's going to know that i don't know it so sometimes I'll just watch the body language, pick up a few things, and then I, did, I deduce what you're talking about, just like that. And I would not be having that skill if I did not study in a place where a foreign language to me was being spoken. 
this trickled over even in business when you're trying when you're reading situations reading people like you you are in better position to read someone like this this person this person mm -mm. This one will not has will, will probably have a problem with paying back, so don't give him anything on credit. Things like that, yeah, yeah. Now another thing that I I wish I really like knew. I wish I knew like I, I really wish I knew this. I wish I knew the value of people. I'm not saying that I didn't take advantage of people, but I, I wish I knew that I wish I knew that people are very valuable. I would have taken more ad more advantage of having different kinds of people around me. Now, when you study abroad, you'll have different people around you. Like the chances that you're the only foreigner in that university is 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 really off. Like there are many people who are going to come. Like you're going to have many people. Like I had access to people from the Caribbean, people from the US, people from Europe, people from everywhere now this gives you an opportunity to to learn and have a different like like i think of life as a plate like a plate of food is more interesting when they're different things they're different different things. not just one two things like you need more more things like little bit of everything on the plate yeah so and and different people and their different cultures they affect you in different ways like i um one thing that i learned i i love very much is that i spent a lot of time with nigerians and I, I learned, I picked up different things from their culture. So even when I went back home and I would meet a Nigerian and he would speak some pidgin, like I knew the things that he's talking about without without being someone who overwatches Nollywood. And even when I'd be at home and people are watching Nollywood, I'd be like, yeah, this, this is what this means, this is what this means. Like I knew things and it's because I spent time with Nigerians. Like I wish I had spent more time with different people. I knew about like when I went to uni, I did not know there was a country called Guyana. Imagine. But I, I, I met a friend from Guyana who like, like I still, <laughs> I value her so much to this day. Like I cannot forget my dear friend Tonio Miller. <laughs> I really love the accent. It was beautiful. It's beautiful. It doesn't trend. But yeah, you get to 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 meet different people from different walks of life. Like you you'll know like Zimbabweans are like this, people from Malawi are like this. And the funny thing is, I have a face that fits it fits in most African regions. Like there's some people who thought that I was from West Africa. People who are convinced I was from Sierra Leone or Ghana or some even thought I was Nigerian. Until you had me speak and you're like, oh, are you from Uganda? But but you know, most people would not even figure out that I was from Uganda. Most people would place me either somewhere in Kenya or somewhere in West Africa. Some would also take me to South Sudan. Yeah. But yeah, it's... <laughs> It just it's just something that you need to take advantage of like when you have the opportunity get to know as many people as you can get to open up your life to be affected to be to evolve as a result of meeting new people because you'll not regret it you really won't regret it and my final advice is like one thing that i experienced when i came back when i finished i came back to uganda and most parents asking my mom like how did you do it like how did she do it how did she finish and you know most people have this perspective of kenya that kenya will spoil kids and most people told me that like, oh you're going to kenya ha be careful you'll get spoiled but this is one thing that i tell people um know yourself know thyself please know thyself there is nothing more important than knowing yourself create boundaries have your goals in place so that no one is no no wind is just going to come and take you like just like that far no like you know that i'm not doing this i'm not doing this i'm not doing that you can relate with people but you know you're going to say i'm not going to sniff that <laughs> i'm not going to smoke that and it's okay and you have to also be in a place where like it's okay don't be such a, like if you're naturally a people pleaser try to dial that down a dial that down a bit because it can work in your disfavor like if you're always trying to please people if you're always trying to be in the crowd just try to be on your own more and know yourself more get to know yourself get to know your values grow in making your values grow in creating a holistic version of yourself that is still in line with 
your values like what you grew up knowing what you what you value that your culture like i can't stress this enough this is very important now i really don't want this video to go so long so like if you have experiences please comment down below if you have something to buttress on what i've spoken about comment down below let the conversation continue because this is something that's really important more and more people are starting to study abroad but there are people who get so derailed and i have i have friends who did not finish they ended up in like rehab because of the decisions that they made because of the time they did not say no they did not have boundaries and they did not remember what took them there so those are some of the things that are important so let this conversation continue in the comments if you have had an experience studying abroad don't be shy to share your experience because there are many people who need this we are here to help and grow together so that you get the best experience from something like studying outside of your country thank you very much i love you guys may god bless you may he keep you in perfect peace until next time